I feel like I'm fighting a Japanese pilot in World War II, like in a dogfight in the air. Trying to fucking Skyrim? Yeah, trying to like outmaneuver them. <laughs> So, coming into the park, we didn't show off more of the interest before, but the chocolate world and the new interest in general uh, is great. Uh, yeah, you can measure up here. I, I think this also, I think, literally is how they measure for kids. Uh, so you took a picture with your hero, but you don't want to take a picture with the statue. Dude, look at this statue. <laughs> look at those looks. Are those not some TSOs? <laughs> okay. Um, there's your hero. He's really cheesing there. Hey, <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy to see you here. <laughs> Alright, but okay, we're gonna make a way to the park now. Um, surprisingly, I think the weather might have uh, pushed people away because it could have been a lot worse on Saturday today for sure. Uh, well, yeah. Awesome. So guys, <laughs> this really might be a footage day because the line for Comet is out of the queue. And when they checked at the beginning, we we're gonna check Pandemonium. Uh, did you guys want to say how long the wait was? How long the wait was for uh, candy? 240 minutes, four hours. Four hours. The park's going to close in around four hours, most likely due to thunderstorms, so. You know, the people that are that live in the area, Great Bear is so loud. People that live in the area might be the power play to uh, stay after the storms, but we have to leave, unfortunately. So the storm's basically gonna be us uh, leaving. Yeah. But coming on to this, let's see, hopefully, this isn't too bad. So much. <laughs> so uh, one thing to note, we walked by this about two times, three times yesterday. Uh, Trailblazer, I think the Runaway Mine Train uh, part. It hasn't been open this whole time. People are wondering. I don't know if they're gonna open when it's summer season, or if they have other plans. Uh, right now, it could just be because yeah. they don't just find it. Reasonable to run it without uh, being peak hours, so. The lines have been pretty bad throughout the park, though. So, we're just gonna be getting a whole bunch of cool different shots, okay? Literally, because that's all we can do. <laughs> so, more of a scene of the day, too. In a turn of events, it looks like uh, we're walking literally where we're stuck in this cattle pen for about 20 minutes last night. We're walking on a storm runner for the first ride of the day. So things looking up. The sun's coming out too. 
Yeah. Yep, it's just right around here walking on oh, yeah. into the station. Easy. Easy money. So, we just got off the storm runner first ride of the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta rethink where that thing is in my ranking still. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Back seat, big change. Yeah. Yeah. A lot different than the front seat. Also, with those type of rides, they really don't need to warm up too much because, you know, they're launch coasters. <laughs> but, wow. We're yeah, gonna try to see what Fahrenheit is right now, how that's doing. That's okay. Maybe we can get a few things in the back here and maybe scale it back when we're leaving the park. So, guys, this will be nine or 103 for me, but getting on Wildcat. Also, because there are a lot more rumors about these flags and uh, markings around Wildcat. Are you sure it's a 30 it looks like a walk. Yeah, it does look a lot shorter. So these queue times on the app are a lot over the place. Uh, it says 15 minutes for Summer Runner when that was basically 10. It says 120 for Candemony when that is a four hour wait. And you know, you know, it's whatever. But at least we are able to get some things because it looks, it looks abysmal at the beginning of the day, right? Like Sky Rush? Yeah. And uh, Candemony? Yeah, four hours. <laughs> so, th see this layout looks pretty enticing, but I'm afraid hearing about this rock. Especially for y'all. Did you hear those brakes? Hey man. The clown nose brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys off the ride. Scott off Wildcat 103. You hated it. But honestly, I think it's a little bit better than lightning racing right now. Just a little bit. This just has that bite. Yeah. A bite of a Woody I like. Now that, it is rough. Yeah. That ride gave me a herniated disc or two. Okay. <laughs> you act like there are not w worse Woodies in Virginia. There are worse Woodies, and I don't ride them. <laughs> not like and that was that was the best Woody I've rode yet. Shut up. You that was the best one you rode yet. Yeah. That was better than Lightning Rather Racer. Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Lightning McQueen. Yeah, it's better Lightning than. Uh, is better. It's better than Grizzly, hands down, like oh. easily. Uh, it, it's like, it's the perfect balance of like shaking you up. Uh, if it were me, I'd like the drop and just like it to be taller, bigger layout. If it were that, that would be a really yeah. good ride. It's definitely I'd a twister that. layout for sure. Yeah. But we're going to try to find our way to the very back to get on Lightning Racer uh, to see what's happening there. Hopefully it's not too long. And because the crowds are definitely coming onto this part of the uh, park now. We were able to steal some rides on Storm Runner and a Wildcat there, but we, let's see if our luck will keep going down in the very end. So Landing Racer, the line is night and day from yesterday. Back at the park, tech is working out. I'm gonna see, uh, it's literally looking like no way, because we were back here and you just go up the ramp. So maybe we can get a ride or two, you know, really compare. And hopefully it's thunder or lightning side instead of thunder. It's potentially 104. Pandemonium, two hour wait. Lightning Racer, walk on. Storm Runner, it's also pretty easy to get out as well. So, back at the park tech, pretty good. So, we finished with three rides on Lightning Racer one on Thunder and two on the Lightning side. <laughs> and yeah, so it's still better than Wildcat. I do think Wildcat is not as rough as people said it was. It, does, it is rough, and I do think probably you know, if you have, if you're older, or just don't like as rough coasters, yeah, I, I could definitely see that. But the uh, Lightning Race, we had, it started dueling, and now that easily put it up. Uh, above, or Wildcat, excuse me. Uh, yeah, we had some competitive trains. Well, the first train was competitive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we won, but Lightning seems to be consistent winner right now. It just won again by a long shot. Oh, yeah, even for this <laughs> time. Uh, so, maybe if you want that faster experience, go with Lightning. It could be a chain lift thing too, who knows. But we're going to be getting some food here, going up the front of the park. I'm going to check out the chocolates here, restaurant. And if we do catch something on the way there because lines just die down, then we'll throw that too. But otherwise, yeah, we're going to be trying to get some grub real quick and then maybe come back for a few more uh, when the crowds are just gone. Imagine they're like, we can't get you, you have to jump onto the rope. Yeah, you know it's like, it takes you up like 90 degrees up. Right? Yeah. That's awesome. 90 degrees
So right now we're just kind of curious how far this splash zone will go. Because it's kind of, you're passing by. The walkway is a splash zone. So let's see. Bone's waterproof. We're taking it. Whoa. <laughs> People over there. Don't... Well, that mist feels good though. It, so good. it literally looks like a storm went through the area. That's insane. So I don't know if this is just us guys, but there's something that seems a little off the soundtrack for this carousel. You guys hear the off tunes? So y'all, uh, we're at the chocolates here to run away from the rain because it was raining a good bit. Uh, but we all got our chocolate. Uh, ooh, fused food. Ooh, that is a gimmick here is that everything or mostly everything has chocolate. And literally, I have mac and cheese with chocolate. We have a burger with chocolate. And we have, it's not just chocolate, but it's barbecue chocolate. It stinks. That's a boost. But we're gonna see. We'll tell you how it is after we dive in. So we are ending our Hershey Park trip. Unfortunately, well, like the actual part. Well, it's not that, yeah. But actual. we're ending the Hershey Park trip, yes. But we're gonna go to Chocolate World to really finalize it. Just to. I mean, if, if the line is like an hour and thirty minutes, I could give less of a sh to sit down and watch how like they make throw up chocolate, but. <laughs> Especially, I'm not they really... They don't even show Kit Kats in there. They just show her chocolate, so it's like, it's not really even that cool. Yeah, and you're probably wondering how this edit requires the food review. We showed you the food. Yeah, no. So, I can speak for myself. The burger I got was, like, pretty good. The sauce, like, it just got, like, it was okay at the beginning, but, like, the more you eat it, the more it was just, like... Like, you just kind of recalled and didn't want it. Joseph got the, uh, you got what again? You got the wings, right? I got right? the jumbo wings with Hershey's chocolate buffalo sauce. It wasn't it was, a, it was chocolate barbecue. Chocolate barbecue sauce, sorry. It didn't really taste like chocolate, so it was fine. Like, it had the creamy texture of chocolate, and it smelled like chocolate. But once you bite into it, it's just like creamy buff, uh, barbecue sauce. So the, the real, I, got, I got a good, a, a good one. The real loser was... Yeah. Loser. I don't know how they thought mac and cheese and chocolate will go together, but that literally tasted like vomit. Uh, I had to just, I, I didn't even want to try anything chocolate after that, even though I know that's the whole gimmick. So, uh, <laughs> but I got checking out Fredo and it was okay. So we're going over to Chocolate World here to try to see if we can get on that. But if not, we had a pretty great first trip, basically for us, uh, for Hershey Park. So... Really can't complain of that. Now I'm really liking the entrance and everything here. Joseph. Just went through the queue. I probably should have showcased some of the cool fun facts for you guys, but otherwise we're about to get on. Inside the vehicle at all times. We're on our way to the Hershey Chocolate Factory. Your guide will meet you at the entrance. See you inside. The Hershey goodness starts right here with pure fresh milk. Say it, girls! Chocolate so Forget all the child labor and the violation. Give me that background. Kids with all the violations. Rights of child labor. It's happy. It's the milk we make that's at the heart. Sweet inspiration from the very start, and you can taste the love.
The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. Our pussing machines squeeze the unsweetened chocolate into discs of cocoa powder, known as Hershey's cocoa. Pressing also produces cocoa butter, which will usually go on in the process. <laughs> Every day, shining tanker trucks pick up milk from local farms and line up outside our factory for delivery. Hershey is one of the only companies in the world that uses fresh milk to make milk chocolate. Fresh milk is pure. Hershey's milk too. chocolate is delicious <laughs> and distinctive. Like, oh, Part of my job is to make sure all of that milk meets our high quality standards. Once it passes testing, we mix sugar into the milk using large batching tanks. We pasteurize and condense the sweetened milk and then blend in the perfect amount of yeah, unsweetened well, chocolate. CGI, this is where the art of chocolate yeah. making all comes together. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form delicious little pieces that we call chocolate crumbs. being your guide today. Remember that wherever you go, you're never far from a piece of Hershey's happiness. So be sure to share that goodness with the ones you love. Thank you, everyone. Bye. And this is how we're ending our day, our trip. It washed out. It isn't the first time I've ended my trip at a, an amusement park with heavy rain. When I, mean, I was a kid, it's happened to me multiple times at KD. Yeah. I got lucky for the past but, year. Look at everybody here fair, wearing like, yeah, you know, short shorts and a tank top and whatnot. We got lucky in general for all the stuff we did in this trip. Uh, ended up with 104 for me. We're gonna have to count up all their credits and I'll probably just put it at the end of this video. Just so y'all know. And y'all can keep up with everything too, not just mine. Uh, but it has to be at least 30 or at least for Gavin. 
But for Joseph, maybe close to 30, if not like 20 something. I feel like I'm in the 30s by now, you know? Nice 30 year old. But we unfortunately we could not get rides on Skyrush. So apparently a branch, uh, when it was raining, like one of the near misses, like it was actually threatening to like come off or get here to the track and yeah. like, clearance issues. So that's a thing. So uh, we weren't able to get on that. In fact, a lot of the rides we kind of got strapped to them. But at least we got Storm Runner. And we're leaving with, you know, a general great trip. This is just the end of it. So what did you think about your trip? Oh, it was and that was really good though. It was really good. It was really good. Got to ride a lot of solid coasters. I didn't get to ride before, so that was really, really fun. But uh Yeah, I mean like the crowds here were like freaking packed, man. But I mean like we really did the best we could at getting all the rides we wanted to get on. Yeah, right, leaving with a new number one with Sky Rush. Oh yeah. Unfortunately we couldn't ride it again to end of the day. But it is what it is, intimate being intimate, even when it isn't being intimate. It's a, kind of a park issue with the clearance. Yeah. But yeah, literally, guest experience wise, besides the inconsistency with the lockers at the end, it was great overall. Yeah, I um, didn't know what that was. About. Yeah, that uh, was really uh, random. But... So yeah, we're leaving with overall great trip. We'll be back. We don't know if later this year or not, but definitely want to. So we can then share some more rides and all that stuff. But catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.